What's up guys? It's Chaos. And, you know, it's been a year since I posted my last gun collection video. And not only has my channel progressed, but I have learned an enormous amount about guns, about myself, about YouTube, blah, 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 blah. I've, it's been a long year, basically. And what I'm going to do today is exactly what I did the last time I made one of these videos. I'm just going to go through, show you what I've got here, and make a couple points, and that'll be it. You know, we're just going to check out everything I've got laid out in front of you so you guys are familiar with what I've got. If you want to ask questions or, or anything like that, feel free. I guess we'll start out with the smallest gun on the table, which is this right here. This is a Browning Buckmark. This happens to be a stainless model with the slab sides. I mean, I love it. I run uh, Agula through it. Agula hypervelocity ammo. Thing shoots like a champ. It's a great starter gun. These rubber grips are fantastic. I mean, it, it's a great 22 pistol. It's fantastic. Moving right along, this is my XD9 V10 ported. You can see the ports here. There's 10 of them in total, hence the name. This has a 30-round uh, magazine. That's actually a piece of junk. Uh, the magazine, I mean, and uh, regardless of that, the the gun is is awesome. It's one of my favorites to shoot. You know, you can put any ammo through it because it's a Springfield XD. You know, it, it'll shoot anything, and it shoots it well. That porting, while a little bit, you know, overkill for a 9mm, is still awesome. It shoots flames. <laughs> I mean, you know me, I, I like to do things a little over the top sometimes, and that fits right in. That's a great, great gun. This right here is my HK-45. This is the gun that I claim is the best polymer frame 45 ACP pistol, and I maintain that uh, position. The grips are fantastic. The trigger's good. Everything about this gun is great. I shoot it well, and I love it. Currently has the Viridian C5L laser light combo on there. That's great as well. I got reviews on both of those, the gun and the laser. This I haven't done a video on, but... Uh, I plan to in the future. This is my Smith & Wesson 686P. This was the first pistol, the first gun I purchased. You know, I've had some of these other ones, like the older models, since I was a kid, and I didn't purchase them. You know, my dad bought those. This was the first gun I bought for me, and I love it. This is a 7-round 357 Magnum 6-inch barrel. It shoots awesome. I love it. It shoots flames, blah, blah, blah. It's awesome. It's powerful. You know, this gun is... The dookie, as they say. Uh, let's see, we'll jump, since I mentioned the older guns, we'll jump up to those. This is a Marlin 3030. It's a 336, and I love that gun. I've actually stretched that gun out to 500 yards semi reliably. It's a 3030, and it's old, so it's not super accurate, but it is a great, great gun. It's a nine power, three to nine power scope on there. You know, I, I can't really say much more about it. I love that gun. It's a good uh, deer hunting weapon as well. This here is a gun that I mentioned in one of my videos uh, about rimfire fun. This is a, I believe it's a Glenfield Model 25. I'll annotate if I'm incorrect. And it's just a 22 long rifle, you know, plinker. It's, it's a great bolt action gun. Again, like the Buckmark, it is a great starting gun. You know, for somebody that's afraid of weapons and, uh, or, or somebody that can't handle the recoil of a bigger caliber, that's a great, great gun to get them started on. Now, you may know what this is. This is my Beretta A400 XL shotgun, the blue receiver, the blue end cap, the nice walnut furniture, the kickoff pad. The 30-inch barrel, nice chokes, nice trigger, blah, blah, blah. This gun is awesome. I shoot really well with this gun. I shoot sporting clays a lot. Since I purchased that, I've probably got over 5,000 rounds through it. And uh, I believe that was maybe two months ago. I've got an enormous amount of rounds through that in a very short period of time. And it's awesome. I could shoot that thing all day. Man, I love that gun. Uh, I guess we'll... Jump up to the next shotgun. I'll move around the table here. This 
is my Remington 870 Marine Magnum. The last time you saw it, it had the Knox furniture on it. I went to a more classic look with this wood. Uh, it's got this ribbed forend here and the nice wood stock. It looks much, much better like this and it kind of matches this gun here. This is Project Broadsword, my 50 Beowulf AR-15. I haven't gotten a chance to fully ring this thing out yet like I want to, but uh, obviously that is coming. I, I have plenty of ammo for it. I just need to make the time to do it. This gun is <laughs> just you wait. That gun is awesome. I'll come around again. This is a, a more recent build. This is the Chaos Carbine. It is a 5.56 rifle. The Ares Armor Compensator makes this thing just a dream to shoot. It's very light with the plum crazy lower. Uh, it weighs 6.4 pounds and uh, it's, it's freaking awesome. Obviously, you know, if you uh, go and check out the playlist for that, you can get caught up to all the parts that are in it and basically see it kicking ass, basically. This, this gun is fantastic. I love it. I'm really proud of that. And a gun that a lot of people love to hate, this right here. That is my Chrome Desert Eagle 50 Action Express. I haven't done a lot of videos with it because it is very expensive to shoot, much like the Beowulf. The actual ammo cost is similar to the Beowulf in that uh, it's at least $2 per round if you buy it from a store. You buy it online, you can get a little cheaper, but it's still very, very expensive. I have the 44 Magnum barrel for this gun to you know, cheapen it somewhat, but again, very, very expensive to shoot. This gun... It's ridiculous, it's heavy, it's big, and it's awesome. If you haven't shot a Desert Eagle, go out and shoot one. They are not the most reliable pistols across the board. They have a somewhat tainted reputation. However, they are a dream to shoot when they run right. This one doesn't give me many problems. Some of the 44 ammo is kind of finicky because of the soft lead tip. But the 50 AE is just rocking and rolling every single time. I love that gun. Basically, I love every gun laying out here on the table. In a year's time, I have basically created for myself a very, very diverse collection. And something, you know, as a whole that I'm quite proud of. I've got a little bit of everything, and I'd like to keep it that way. So without much further BS, guys, that's it. This is my current collection, and thank you for watching.